morning. So today I thought I'd bring you another vlog. <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice today. Um, we've got a, well, I've not got too much of a busy day today, but we've got a bit of a busy after school. Um, <clears throat> straight after school we have a dentist appointment, which oh, I'm worried about, the kids are worried about, everyone's worried about. <laughs> I'm not really that scared of the dentist. Um, the kids are. Andrew deals with it okay. Ava, last time we went, she wouldn't open her mouth at all. So she didn't, she couldn't do anything. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this time they can get something out of her so they can actually look in her mouth. Um, if you've seen my like care um, video, self care video, you've known that I've got a planner. I kind of gave myself a ridiculous aim this week and it's something that I can't really control but I thought if I end up doing it, I will treat myself. Um, for those that don't know, I've got really, really bad teeth. Um, I've got the starts of gum disease. My grandma had it. She lost all her teeth pretty much around my age when, in, when she was in her late 20s. And yes, and basically my teeth are, oh, my teeth are decaying a lot faster than an average person and they need a lot of looking after. And basically, once when I went to the dentist, just a regular, regular checkup, not like my mouth was hurting, I need to get, and get something checked, but a regular checkup. Um, I think it was with the kids. No, I had to make an appointment again afterwards, because usually when I've got to have some work done and I'm with the kids, they'll turn around and say, um, we'll just give you a clean and polish, come um, and make an appointment to come back to get your work done, because I don't want to scare the kids. And basically, they basically said that I needed one filling replaced um, and two new fillings. So I went a few days later to get that done and it turned out that that filling that needed to be replaced was too bad that it needed taking out. And then I still needed three fillings. But so basically in the space of a few days, another filling needed doing. So in one, I had three fillings done and a tooth out, tooth, yeah, a tooth taken out. So it was bad. So every time that I go for a checkup, I worry that it's basically going to be a lot in one go. I know nothing's going to get done today, but I'm really, really hoping that I don't need a fill in. I think I do because this side is a bit sensitive. Um, not necessarily when I drink, it's sensitive when I eat salad. It's like cold food. Um, so I have a feeling I'm going to have to have one down here, down there, or even both. So, and there, I've only got one wisdom tooth, or one, like, molar left, because I've got two taken out there. Um, that's like, I think it's the side that I eat on, so I just lose most of my teeth from that side. <laughs> um, so yeah, because I've got a tooth missing there, two tooth missing there. So, they will probably all be gone one day. But yes, my aim on that is not needing anything done from the dentist except for a clean and then I could treat myself with, I don't know, some chocolate or some sweets or something like that. So yeah, but that's more than likely not gonna happen. So yes, um, the kids were a bit anxious when they got into school today, so they're, they're both fine, a little tough just to get in there. And I just let the teacher know, yeah, they're a bit worried about after school because I've got a dentist appointment. But yes, now I'm back home from the school run. I'm going to be doing like I do every single time when I first get home is clean this mess up. Yes. Let's get to it. I am back home. We've we'll been back home for a while now. We've always got to leave to fetch Andrew from school. I've got school. my baby. We've just been chilling. Yes. I've got my baby. You have got your baby. We've just been chilling. Um, I had to take some phone calls and sort stuff out basically. But yeah, we're about to play. Um, she's raided my. I crochet. She's raided my crochet, crochet stash. That's it. <laughs> Um, cause I, I, because of Bumble, experimental Bumble, sizes and Bumble. things, I made little crazy things. So I made a SpongeBob SquarePants hat. It's Mummy says, Mummy says, baby. Mummy says, baby. Oh, one second. Baby. 
and a little monster. It's babies. Oh, it's one baby. It's the baby. Then I've made stuff like with a like a rattle inside. Yeah. And then there's this little cardigan. Um babies as well. Babies. It's babies. Yes, babies. And more than likely we'll speak to you after the dentist. <laughs> Um, just let you know how it all went, but hopefully if it went really, really well, oh, it's raining! <gasps> You're going to have to use your brolly. It's raining. So yes, I'll speak to you after the dentist and tell you how it goes. So we are back home from the dentist. We got caught in the rain. Oh dear. So yeah, we got caught in the rain and the school run. Got my umbrella as a rain. Yes, but you didn't want to bring your umbrella. I says when we're gone, oh, it's raining. I say yes. But yes, you can't, yes. and she's like, I want to take my baby. And I was like, right, but you can't hold your baby, take the brolic at the same time. Which one do you want to hold? And she went, baby. So I left the house thinking it that weren't that bad, rain. Got to school, it was so bad. <laughs> so we got my umbrella, but then I, and then she wanted to go in the push chair because I can't physically hold her for long. And um, if she gets tired, that. I can't pick her up and then she screams and then it's just frustrating and then you know, like being getting Andrew so we just figured out that push chair is the best way and she told me if she wants to go in or not and she said she wanted to go in the push chair but I couldn't physically push the push chair and hold the umbrella at the same time so she held the umbrella I got wet yeah <laughs> didn't it um but yeah we went to the dentist um Andrew now has 23 teeth, doesn't he? He's currently upstairs playing on the Xbox. <laughs> and I now got my Yes, and Ava refused like I thought she would. Again, she wouldn't even, I mean, the dentist even came up he to her. Yeah. Two fairy. Two fairy. Two fairy. Yeah, two fairy. Two fairy. We've had the same dentist for ages and it's always the same one. I mean, <clears throat> there was only a certain time where I didn't see her and that was because she was on, on maternity leave. Two. Two fairy, two fairy. You didn't show the dentist your teeth though, would ya? Two fairy. I mean, two she didn't even. She says, "Oh, it's fine. It's you hold her." Fairy. And I'll just use my gloves and count her teeth. It's two fairy. The two fairy. Yes, yeah, two fairy. And she still would have none of it. She says, "No, no, no," like this, and that were it. And then I had to go, didn't I? And they said that they was wanted to keep an eye out on the one up here, which I knew <laughs> something was gonna be up with that one because. <laughs> getting sensitive not to the point where if I drink I don't drink a lot of cold drinks I usually drink like cooler drinks and not freezing cold drinks cold. but when I'm like having salad and obviously salad's quite cold to eat this part up here is quite sensitive so it's hard to chew on like if I'm chewing cucumber or tomato or something so uh, yeah I knew something was gonna be up with it was either this one or this one and basically she says well we'll do an x-ray because some of them that I have quite old so she just wanted to do a double check that because she can't obviously see underneath them. What are you doing? So she says she just wanted to double check with an x-ray so she gave me an x-ray and I'm like nah she's gonna know that something's up with this one and she did. And um, basically on this side I have a joint filling where it's two, uh, one massive filling between the two teeth. Um, I had one that needed filling but then I had like the gap between the teeth. Um, there was a hole and they couldn't obviously fill it. It would get stuck with um, every time I'd eat something it would get stuck between the tooth and it would literally throb. The only way that I could get it out was one of these like wire um, floss things where it was like a stick and I had to like ram it in and get it and it really hurt. So they turn around and says to me, oh can you do my hair? Thank you. So, um, thank you. Okay. And then when I went in, this is the only way they're going to be able to properly fill it is if they end up filling it and making it do, put the gap in towards the tooth. So I was like, okay, then do that because I can't live with something going in there and then it's throbbing. So they did that, so they basically filled that tooth and then drilled some of the tooth next out and filled that in. And now they're seeing that there's, they both need replacing. Um, so yeah, I've got to have that done. Um, and I'm getting that done on Tuesday. So just in a few days, a week. It's Tuesday. Week today. A week today. It's Tuesday today. Yes, it is Tuesday. So I'm getting that done then. Um, not very looking forward to, but I'm glad that that's what it all is. Hopefully I won't get there and they'll find something else because that's what they tend to do. Do them teeth and then just check everywhere else. Um, or like they did last time, because um, last time one of my fillings, which was my first ever filling that I had, um, they had to redo it. And 
it basically said it's too far down and they got my nerve. So that just started bleeding like crazy. Mommy and then teeth. when you get your nerve, you can't. Mommy teeth. Mommy's teeth. And then when you get your nerve, you can't do anything. Um, but have a root canal. And um, when when I I got told by the dentist, the thing is about because my teeth are fast decaying, a root can a root canal would last, but it wouldn't last very long. So they said that I get a choice, either just to remove it. it. Thank you just to get it removed or have a root canal and then have it removed in future. So I just get it taken out because it was one of the back ones. It was my first tooth right at, oh no it wasn't, it was just tooth here. And then the tooth behind it, I was meant to have that surgically removed, which I was put on the mate waiting list for, but I was freaking out because I just had to have it cut open because it was one of those where it half poked through. But when I had this one at the front out, that one came out fully. But then that one had to come out. <laughs> Ava, what? should we play some puzzles? <laughs> Should you do the incredible Double puzzle? puzzle yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go and do some puzzles for a bit because we haven't done them today. We've just been crazily busy. Because we've just been running here, there and everywhere, haven't we? Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna play some puzzles. in bed I'm just eating my dinner and um, yeah we had korma and the kids don't like it so I just thought just make it a bit later make it a bit easier so yes then I'm in bed Ava's had one of those nights where it's taken her over an hour to settle hopefully she's going to sleep very soon because I'm getting very annoyed I just want to eat my dinner. My dinner's been like here for half an hour. I'm like, I just want to eat my dinner. So yes, hopefully she'll go to sleep now and not come down again. Yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and don't forget to press that bell. But I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I'll see you soon.